Boom. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. So in today's video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol DJT, which is the Trump media company. So this company just recently went public. So I want to talk about it and kind of expose you guys to this stock because it has some interesting uh, things that I'm actually looking at. So we're going to talk about that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So when it comes to um, social media uh, space, we've seen the likes of Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter, now X. But after the 2020 election, we realized that these media platforms have the liberty to uh, decide who speaks on their platform. Um, and case in point, we had the President of the United States, um, the most powerful man in the world, banned from all social media platform. And I think personally, I don't think it's a good thing that you're banning speech, but they have the right to do that because they own the companies and they can decide what ever they want to do on the platform. So what happened, Trump, who was banned on all these platforms, got really frustrated. When faced with a challenge, what do you do? You come up with a solution. And his solution was to build his own platform so that nobody can ban him on his own platform. Isn't that amazing? That's the beauty of America. So you guys ban me on your platform. Okay, I'm going to go build mine and start tweeting or tweeting or whatever, you know, word you want to use to describe how you send out messages on this platform. And so Elon Musk bought uh, Twitter and then reinstated Trump's ac account on that platform. And Trump said, nope, thanks, but no thanks. Refused to go on the platform. Um, Facebook reinstated his account. He's like, thanks, but no thanks. And everybody was like, whoa, what are you doing? If you want your message to get out, you need to get on these platforms. Hardly did everybody realize that Trump was being a really savvy businessman. Um, knowing his influence, knowing how many followers he has, he knew fully whether if he went back to X, um, which is formerly Twitter, or to Facebook, people are just going to be uh, normalized with him being on those platforms. If he wants to take them back to the truth social platform, it's going to be difficult. So he just like held his grounds and stayed on truth social. And at that point, a lot of people didn't really um, know about the platform, but he kept tweeting on the platform and trying to get his message out. So fast forward, uh, the company finally went public about a week and a half ago. And the company going public made Trump, I mean, on paper, a really rich man, even though he was rich already, make him even richer. So why am I talking about this particular stock? The reason why I'm bringing this stock to you guys' attention because I see this particular stock, um, ticket symbol again is DJT, is because there is a high risk, high reward potential in this stock. The platform here looks something like this. This is, um, this is Truth Social, as you can see here, Truth. It's just pretty much um, a copy or a clone of X. So if we go to X, um, X looks something like this. If you can load, it looks something like this. You can see the layout is pretty much the same. Um, they just changed uh, some of the verbiage on the page. Like here, it says explore. If you go to Truth Social, it says discover, which is pretty much the same thing. I mean, they can do any kind of gymnastics with some of the words that they want to. It doesn't change anything. So this is a platform. And so this is what Donald Trump definitely uses uh, to get his message out. And he knows fully where that with this particular platform, nobody is going to uh, ban him from sending out his message, which um, as a businessman, I think uh, is very smart. Um, you want to be the person in control because being at the mercy of uh, Silicon Valley, it's not a good thing. So he was, he was really smart about it. So he built this platform and the company is now public, and so let's take a look at what the stock did when it, it first went public. So you can see somewhere around here, this is when this company, uh, the merger, finally went through. And you can see after the merger went through, there was a massive squeeze to the upside 
all to a high close, close to about eighty dollars a share. And then, I mean, obviously, uh, with a merger like this, people take profit, and when people took profit, you see that that pullback. And then squeeze again, people continue to take profit. And then right now, we're sitting somewhere at about $51 and some change. I think this thing will still pull back because we are like, what, eight months um, to the election. So this thing will probably pull back. Well, my game plan so far for this is uh, I'm going to look at the numbers pre-merger uh, going through, which is about 30, $31, $32. So if you just follow this line here. So that's where I would anticipate start buying uh, some of these. So I'm going to get pick up a position in, in Truth Social um, somewhere around $31, $32 if it, if it hits that point. Again, this is a, a stock that I'm going to put under the category of uh, a high risk, high reward um, stock. And so that's where I'm going to go. So let's kind of just talk a little bit about it. Why do I put this stock under high risk, high reward? The reason why I'm doing this is because um, I was, I'll start with two, two main points. Number one, the, the reward in the sense is uh, Trump is running for president of the United States. So if he wants to reach those people, he uses that platform as far as social media because he's not going to go help Facebook. He's not going to go help X uh, with Elon Musk, even though Elon is trying his best to be uh, you know, like an open platform. But Trump is not going to bring all his followers to that platform because it makes him no money. Why would you do that when you can actually self-promote? So he's tweeting on his own platform and using that to build a platform. So if Trump continues to build a platform uh, getting into the election, more and more people are going to sign up uh, to this platform because they want to hear from Trump and they want to be able to interact with him, tweet his, retweet or, I don't know, retweet his message. I keep using Twitter. Re retweet his message and um, interact with him. So you would see... Um, that the platform is probably continue to gain momentum and grow. And if it does so happen that Trump wins the election, I think the platform is going to explode because that's where he's going to be using to send out messages. You, you guys remember when he's tweeting at uh, 3 a.m. in the morning, now he's going to be tweeting at uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. So all the people that are going to be in his cabinet, all the major positions, are probably going to have accounts on Truth Social, and that's going to just make the, that, that platform even bigger. So that is the, the site where I see it as um, the, you know, the higher reward that you can get, assuming that he wins. But now let's flip it. What if he doesn't win the election? I think the stock is going to tank because people are going to be like, oh, that's Trump. Um, a lot of people hate, hate him already. They don't like him. So you're probably going to see the stock is going to tank. It might not just become a penny stock, but it's really, you're going to see a tank. It's not going to get the spike that you would see if he, if he won. So that's, that's why I'm putting this particular stock under the category of high risk, high reward. So that's, that's how I see it. This is uh, because, again, it's a new company, uh, and the person that's driving it is, is, is Trump. He has a massive following. People that love and trust him will follow him on whatever platform he goes so I see how that's going to really help this particular platform just explode. But if he doesn't win the election, chances are it's going to tank. So that's how I'm approaching this. Am I going to take all my money and, and throw it in, into uh, Truth Social? Heck no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put exactly what I'm comfortable losing into the stock. Um, I'm investing my money in other things, but uh, this is an opportunity I'm going to put in there. So I'm not going to put everything that I have into Truth Social. I'm going to put just what I am willing to lose if things go south. But if it goes north, I'll pro make some profit and, and keep it moving. So that is my take on Truth Social. You, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about it? Do you think that my analysis of this is maybe crazy? Or you think, oh, he's got a point here. Again, I want to hear your, your take on it. Um, uh, remember that right now X is private. Elon Musk bought it and took it private. So from a public standpoint, we got Facebook and Truth Social right now. That would be like the main um, uh, public facing company. The person at the helm of Truth Social is Trump and he's doing an amazing job. So again, let me know in the comment section. And as always guys, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.